Hello, this is Gamma again, and in this video I will show you the microphone positions, different microphone positions for the Bösendorf Imperial and the Steinway D274. I want to show every one of the microphones in the full version of the library and also um, give a comparison between the standard and the full library. And for that I will, I have here um, something from Chopin and from Bach, which I will use to demonstrate the instrument. And let me start first with opening the mix window here, which shows all the different microphones which are accessible. And by clicking on this here, um, on this line, we can engage them or not, activate or deactivate, as it's written there. And this one is now, I think, the player preset, player room mix, as it's written here. And um, we can see the names of all these things. And I will go now here to the side from uh, VSL. Here we can see Vienna Synchron Pianos. And here we have something microphone positions with, um, as an example, the Yamaha CFX, but <clears throat> it's the same room. And here we have close and mid microphones. And here we have detailed descriptions and so on, but I think that's maybe not extremely interesting now because I want to show you the sound of these things. And then we have room microphones also here, uh, Decca, tree stereo, and so on and so forth, high stereo, surround. This sounds everything very nice, but how does it sound in, it uh, looks nice, I mean, but how does it sound? So that's what I want to show. And for that, I will now, I have first the Bösendorfer and I will do timestamps for everything so that you can just jump to the interesting sections. Maybe you didn't know it, but here you can choose default, double click. And then we have <laughs> 2.6 gigabytes and 237,000 samples. That's kind of a lot. So I shouldn't play too crazy uh, music, but let's see. And I decre uh, reduce here the pedal noise because um, that's distracting now a bit. And then I increase some limits so that we really get the uh, interesting result. And I don't change anything else from the stuff here. So that's now kind of out of the box. And what happened now is, yeah, we can see here, and I close this window, we see here now that every microphone is um, engaged. So we have the same volume for everything. And I should be a little bit careful with the gain staging because um, with the master bus here, this is now very loud, so I don't want to clip the output. I will have to test this right now. And maybe I reduce this some dB, like something like that. Also, I have in my DAW, I have really just a very pure little gain plugin and nothing else is going on. So this is really just here going in another channel. And this is this is not nothing I use here. So this goes directly into the master and then we have the output. So I don't EQ, compress, or anything. As I said in the other video, what I will though have to do is after I do the recording, I will immediately have to um, consolidate this or render the output as it is called, because if I change something in the, this was the wrong button, if I change something here, then obviously uh, when I render it in the end, it will render with the last settings, you know? So I want to have the, um, the actual settings which I use. Good, so what I will do now is just play something, little mazurka from Chopin, excerpt from it, with all microphones. And I think the sound is really amazing. Um, it sounds very well like you are in a room, obviously, so it doesn't sound really exactly like a closed mic sound, but it's a very interesting sound. So I will now do this and then uh, start to play.
This was now a little bit of Chopin Mazurka. And as I said, I will now immediately consolidate this track here, consolidate. This is the full room sound. And what I will do next is um, make a new pattern, go back, and then, uh, oh, how can I do that maybe? I can maybe, oh, well, I can do it like that. I put down all the mics and leave only the, well, maybe not the room mix, but the condenser mic. So now we have um, everything toned down and this is now just the sound of the condenser mic. And now I have to look again. I did clip a little bit, so I should um, look now if it's good for the uh, volume. And now, oh, something, I did something wrong here. Why don't I get any sound? Uh, ah, yeah, because I'm not on this thing here. Yeah, now I have the sound. Don't know exactly what happened there, whatever. So maybe I make it like that. I have to put it a little bit down. Okay, sorry for all the gain staging business, but this is now the sound of only the condenser mic. So this is this sound, consolidate, and then I will show the next microphone position, which is a ribbon, I think. And if I recall correctly, then we should hear now more bass in the recording. So I have this and I go to the same approximate volume, chuck, go down. And now again, I don't have sound because I, I think maybe this is because of the audio recording. Yeah, right. Okay. I ha always have to click on this for some reason again. Okay. Now we have the ribbon mic and I will play again this Chopin excerpt. And I am having my fun with this Chopin Mazurka. It's, um, it just feels very good with this piano plugin to play this. That's what I can tell. And uh, the sound is, I think, also quite nice. But you be the judge. I'm just showing the microphone positions here. Okay, and now let's go on to the next one. And now I don't forget to click on this one. Now it should work. Tube. This should be also more a bass um, emphasized uh, thing. So does this work now? Yep. Let's start the recording. Sorry for the little mistakes. Uh, this was now um, 
but you, Mike. And I think um, now instead of showing all the other microphones, or oh, let's see what we have now. Maybe it's a little bit boring to show all the microphones without any other um, to show only the mid my oh well maybe I can show hmm, the mid microphone which is also so condenser is in the standard library ribbon tube not mid one I think again is there and um, okay let, let's let's maybe just look at the mid one here what does it sound like Yo, this was now the mid one. And I think we can clearly hear um, a difference in position in the room. And we have now not this very close sound. And by close, of course, I mean near to the instrument, but we have a sound which is now um, a little bit farther away. And I think maybe what I can do is show um, the surround uh, microphone by itself. Does it work? I forgot to click on this thing here. Yeah, now it works. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, now this is a very uh, far away sound, and I think I have to do some gains staging again. Okay, I think that's fine. And yeah, let's see how this now sounds. This is also only part of the full library this uh, microphone position here. Yeah, so this one is obviously, <laughs> we would not use uh, only this microphone alone for recording. It is uh, very to the left um, uh, in, the, in our headphones and it's also very far away. So this is something we rather mix in and so on. And now the last thing which I want to do is I think maybe some of you would like to see every literal single microphone, but I think maybe that's a little bit boring. So um, what I will do now is go to the player preset. And um, I think I can just click here. This is now this click, this button here, which gives a player, you know, this is just when you open the plugin and click player, and this is your standard library player position, okay? And then I, I will play this piece again, and then I will enable some um, full version microphones. And then you can just ju hear by yourself. And I hope I can do a little bit of gain staging that we are not fooled by louder is better and so on. But then you can compare it by yourself. Okay, this is, and maybe I should tone down again, pedal noise and so on. And also increase the limits that we have, the full capabilities and so on. So let's see the gain. Yeah. Uh, and I forgot to re-engage this. Uh, it's a little bit too loud. Yep, okay, I think that's fine now. That's why I consolidate also, because every single change, it would not have been implemented in earlier versions, you know, so I put everything together and then that's kind of how I do it. I tried to use the FS Studio ACO, maybe I shouldn't open it now, but it didn't work with these plugins. I think they are, they are just too 
demanding, so it doesn't work. Um, I have now the player position, right? And let's hear now what this sounds like. This is now the out of the box player position. This is the uh, player position. I render this out. And this is now quicker because I have a lot less samples which he or the program has to um, work with. Okay, now the interesting part where I will go to the mix page and enable almost all microphones. And for that, I will obviously have to now check what I'm doing, so which you cannot hear. So let me just adjust this. And now I have more microphones and I will uh, reduce the volume a bit. Is it now okay? Okay, I think that's fine. And now I will play this again. And in the end, you can just jump between these two things and I will put that in the description. Good, I think, um, at least to me, the difference is quite obvious. We now have a lot more of the room sound and a more natural feel also while playing. So as I said in the other video, it's not only um, about the end result, it's, al it's also about how you actually feel while performing the pieces, I think. Um, if you have a good feeling and um, can interpret more into the composition just because a plugin is nice to you, you know what I mean? Then it's easier to have a good end, re uh, good end result. And for me, it's a bit easier when the room ambience is present. It helps with the release samples also. And um, yeah, you in the end, you have to decide if it's worth uh, the upgrade, but I try to just show some of these microphones Good, and now what I will do is um, change the instrument because we had now the uh, Bösendorfer all the time. So I can go to the instrument page. This is all I have right now. Let's go now to the Steinway. And zack, here we have it. And um, yeah, so maybe I should start as before. I go to default. And now I have, the, um, I have all microphones. I reduce the pedal noise. I increase these limits here. Yep, and here we can see this is right, and maybe I should reduce again the volume. And I have to, oh, I did a little mistake there. Yep, it played now all these audio files at the same time. It was sounding very horrible. Yep, now, oh, I have to really reduce extremely. I think that's fine. So, yup, and this is now the full sound of the hall with all microphones. And maybe at this point I will change the piece because we are maybe a little bit tired from hearing this 1000 million times. So I have now Bach here. And um, I will play this now.
yeah, longer excerpt now with this very beautiful um, fantasia here in A minor. And I think we can, while this is rendering, I'm talking a bit, we can hear great differences in these two grants. Um, or at least in the in the sample versions. I mean, I have never played on uh, expensive instruments like that, to be honest. But I think uh, the Steinway here is really a lot um, clearer in the sense that we have more highs and we have um, also really bigger, um, more dynamic range as it is implemented. I mean, you can always twist and change, but I'm really talking about the out of the box experience. Uh, dy the dynamic range is really feels bigger on my instrument uh, here. And um, also the release samples are not as loud. So this to me feels a bit more comfortable um, to play. And now I will do the same as before. This is now only the condenser microphone, which also is um, there if you have the standard library. to this point, what we can hear now is um, that when you have really just a close microphone, the samples are really very pure and all the mistakes and errors in the sampling can be heard, I think. So this is a good way to uh, really judge if this is um, what you, if this is what you want. Good. Now it's a little bit annoying that I always have to do these things, but yeah, whatever. So let's go now to the ribbon. This was the uh, ribbon microphone. And now for the tube microphone, which again should have a little bit more bass. This was now this microphone. And now I will jump, I think, to the surround microphone.
so this is what this sounds like. And I think maybe there are people who um, want to hear the same piece on also the other instrument. So I have now again the Chopin Mazurka. And as a further test, I will now play this with the uh, ribbon microphone. Ah, uh, this is a bit louder, I have to be careful. Okay, this works. Because you're, now I also use the pedal and therefore we have other effects. Okay, and now um, I will maybe do the same piece with a default setting, and you can always jump to other places. This was now the default sound. And also what is missing here is a direct comparison between the player sound and the room, um, uh, the full library, which I will do now. Let's go for the player sound. And now I will add some microphones as before, and I will cut to the moment when I play the new version. So I did make some changes, which you can see here. I have now ribbon tube and also all these surround things. Um, and now I play this again, and you can directly compare it to the player perspective. Here I uh, really cho uh, choose a lot of room sound for this one. And I think the result is very interesting. What I will do now as a last example is I have a um, position here, which you can see with a lot of room and also all microphones. Um, and I will play now a little bit of the first Prolube by DBC, which is something I haven't uh, studied or whatever, but um, I think the effect is really interesting here. and so on and so forth. Um, I think I never had this with any library before, that it's so easy to play 
this um, very quiet music and you have such control over these sounds. Um, this is something I randomly discovered, so I thought to also give a little sample here. Yep, and this is, this is now everything here, all these recordings which I made, and I hope this helps for you to, um, on the one hand, decide if you are happy with a standard library of your uh, if you go directly for the full one and also to hear some of the microphones. Have a nice day.